Hi guys, JT Pops back with a new video. Um, I've been collecting Pops for a good couple of weeks now. Um, haven't posted any videos up because it's just been a bit mental with how many I've done or brought. So I thought I'd actually show you my up to date collection. Um, most of these are from popfigures.com. Uh, a few of them I've brought from Facebook and a few I've traded on Facebook. But before we get into all those pops, um, I did order uh, yesterday and I paid for next day delivery um, a Zavi box which is the DC and a Marvel which at the moment they got an offer for buy any two for £25 and there's also a Star Wars one. Um, so again, I've already opened this up and I've put them both together. Um, but there are, it does come with um, a Marvel pop for the Marvel one and obviously a DC Comics pop for the comic, uh, for the DC one. Um, but I have actually put them in with my, uh, all my pops. So when I get to them, I'll tell you. But I'm guessing, because it says that if you buy more than one, um, you will get doubles. I'm assuming that this is what everyone will get. So if I start with the uh, Marvel box first, so the first thing you get is a Luke Cage Mini Mates. Uh, it's a bit like Lego, I suppose. That's one of the sides. That's the back, so that's what they look like. And then Luke Cage comes with like his old look and then his new new look. I never actually watched all of the series, the, the two series. I think I watched halfway of the first season and then I just sort of got a bit fed up. Uh, so that's Mini Mates, Marvel Luke Cage. Um, next thing you get was, was this Mighty Mugs Wolverine which is pretty cool. You push down on his head and then his eyes and mouth change. So that's pretty cool. I looked this up, this was about 10 pounds on uh, Zavi. So I'm guessing this is number 17 out of all their Mighty Mugs. Um, yeah, I can't get that off. So the next thing you get is a Avengers Vision coin. This is number 729 out of 1000. So I suppose it's not too bad. That's the front. And then that's the back. And then obviously it comes with a pop, which like I said, I'll show you when I eventually get to it and I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you which one it is. So from the DC uh, Zavi mystery box, um, you get a comic book, Suicide Squad, this is part four. This one's pretty cool. I'll give it a read sometime when I'm in bed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one you get is a Batmobile, which I think was done by Eagle Moss. Um, yep, Eagle Moss. Every fortnight, I think it was every fortnight they used to do these. And it was like, what, £10, £15? Um, so yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then the last thing you get, which this may be different for other people, because it is a little D, uh, DC Comics Little Bombshells Series 3 so obviously there's no way of Zavi knowing that these are all the same so you might this one might be different for you these are some of the ones you can get so this is Series Series 3 I can't remember if I said two, but this is series three. So the one we got was this one, which was 
Power Girl. So I haven't opened it, it's still sealed up. So, I hope you guys are ready for this little update on how many, or what pops I've got. There are quite a few. I was actually quite surprised when I was taking them off the shelf. So, we will begin. These are in, these are random, so oh, there's some from Amazon as well. So, the first one I'll pick out is the metallic version of the Red Ranger. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. So I managed to get this one off of Facebook. Brought this off of Facebook. Good price, I think. I think it was like 18 pound all in, I think. Um, so that's pretty good. So it's my very first Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Number 406. That's my first one. Quite happy with that one. Next one I got was a uh, Pop Figures Mystery uh, for £7. And it was Han Solo. I took it out of its protector because this is basically a common. And I had some pretty decent, some expensive ones. So I thought I'd take it out of its common one put it in. A decent one. But these are some of the other ones you can get. Not bad. So my Star Wars collection is coming along nicely. This must be Star Wars one. Um, next one again is from Pop Figures Seven Pound Mystery. Uh, again, I took it out of its um, protector because this is a common again, and it is. Aquaman uh, Mera. So this is from the film number 246. These are some of the other ones you can get. So I just need Aquaman, Arthur Curry as Gladiator, and Orm to finish this set. Or what it says on the back, anyway. So that was. Mirror. Uh, next one I got. I can't remember where I got this from, if I'm being honest. I can't remember where I got it from, but it's Scarecrow from Batman the Animated Series. I think I might have got this from Facebook actually. I think. I can't remember. In fact, I might have even shown it in one of my other series uh, episodes. It's been such a long time since I've done one. There's some of the other ones you can get. Scarecrow. So I've got quite a few of these now of the animated series. And speaking of animated series, I actually did buy this one on. No, I actually brought this one on eBay, I think. I think I brought this one on eBay. In fact, I think I brought that one on eBay. I can't remember. But it's the Chase version of Batman Robot. So I've got both versions now. So I'm well happy with this one. It's my second Chase that I own. The first one being the black and white version of uh, Sirius Black. Again, it's the same. And that's, his no that's his common version. And then also us obviously is Chase version. So I'm well happy with that one. And then again, as part of the Batman animated series, I got Bane. So I just need a few more from the back of this one. So I just need Clayface, the Phantasm, and Catwoman. But obviously there is another another set of these with different different ones on the back but those are the only those are the only three that I need now to finish at least this this set so yes that's Bane quite happy with that one uh, next one I got I got from Facebook I already own one version of these or this 
and it is Kate Diaz from Gears of War. This is her white, white costume. So I'm quite happy with this one. Don't own any of those. Actually, no, I don't own any of them yet. But I will. I like Gears of War. I haven't played Gears of War. I haven't played Gears of War 5 yet. That's the only one I haven't played yet. But then I don't own an Xbox anymore. So um, Next one I got, I got from a mystery box from Pot Figures and it is the Bloody Baron from Harry Potter, number 74. So obviously the missus is very happy with this one. So I don't think, oh I own, we own Dobby from this set and that's the only one from the back of this one where he's clicking his fingers. But yeah that's the Bloody Baron, number 74. Uh, next one again is a seven pound mystery from Pop Figures. This is part of the TV slash movies, and it is Cliff Clavin. I think that's how you say his name. From Cheers, uh, number seven nine seven. Don't own any of these. Had no intentions of collecting any of these, but now that I own one of them, it looks like I'm going to have to get them to finish the set. But I'm in no hurry because I've got other ones that I need to finish first. That's some of the other ones you can get. And then that's the back of that one. I'm trying to I'm trying to not get the glare of the TV. I and mean, I suppose I could just turn it off, but then I've got some music, you know, in the background. In fact, let's just turn it off. There you go. That's better. Oh, that's me there. So that is Cliff Clavin. Uh, next one I got, and I now officially own all three versions of of this one. I own the the chrome version, the normal version, and now I own the black version. The MCM Comic Con Limited Edition version. So now I own all three versions of Black Manta, apart from his... Um, unmasked one but this version I own all three now so again there's the back so I just need the top two and on there um, so that's all three versions of Black Manta next one I brought this as part, uh, this is from Pop Figures. Um, they do a pocket money pops uh, for $4.99, but they've just started doing buy any three for £10, which ain't bad. But I brought this before they did the three pound, uh, three for three for £10. Um, so I brought Widowmaker. For four ninety nine on pop figures, number ninety four. So this is my second Overwatch pop that I own now. The other one I think is called Genji. He's upstairs, which I think I've shown you before. So that's that one. Next one, I got my missus to buy me this on Amazon. Um, this is the this is the games one and it's Mortal Kombat and this is Liu Kang so I own both versions of Liu Kang now uh, this is the Mortal Kombat 9 game and then I obviously own Mortal Kombat 10 or X I own all of those now but this is my first Mortal Kombat 9 so I just need Sub-Zero the many versions of Raiden and Scorpion for this set. And this is number 535. Very good. Next one, again, is a £7 uh, mystery pop from Pop Figures. This is part of the JK Rowling. 
I think I might have shown you this one. I can't remember. But it's... Fish drill? I, I don't know. This is from the... Uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. This is number 17. So now on the back of that, no, this is the first one of this set that we own. But I do own two others of these, which I'll show you one of them in a minute anyway. So that one ain't too bad. Next one is something else I got my missus to buy me on Amazon. And it is the Locust Drone from Gears of War, number 117. I'm trying to build up my Gears of War collection. Not, don't really like this one, to be honest with you. He looks a bit, he looks a bit strange. But it's part of the series. So I've already got, if I can try and zoom it in. I've already got that one, that one, and now I've got that one. I have done a trade for someone for that one. So obviously that will be sent off tomorrow. But this is the Locust Drone. Yeah, he just looks a bit, he just looks a bit weird to me. Especially his hands where he's holding the gun. It just looks really weird. Uh, next one, again, I got my missus to buy from Amazon. And I'm trying to get the whole, or, or I'm trying to get all of the six of these. So I think I've shown you in a previous one that I already own Shazam and Dala. So now this one is Eugene, number 263. So all I need to get now is Freddy, Mary and Pedro and then that's all these finished I actually did quite enjoy the film it was quite funny but yeah that's uh, Eugene from Shazam got a bit of a scuff mark there from the paint next one I got I brought from eBay, uh, I got from Facebook, I think I did a trade, and I think I might have shown you this one as well, but again, I can't remember, but it is Lara Croft, number 168, there is another version of Lara Croft from one of the most recent games which I've bidded on, but I think this one is from that um, I'm not sure which one, which, which game this is from. It's obviously Crystal Dynamics, Square Enix. So it's obviously one of the, the remade versions. But yeah, I like this one. I like it a lot. So we're nearly there, about halfway. Let's go, let's try something different now. I brought some, well, I brought some Fanatic um, on pop and a, on pop figures rather, they do these uh, fanatic mystery boxes. They do um, DC, Marvel, Disney, and I think that's all they do at the moment. Um, so, from one of the Disney ones, I got was Buzz Lightyear, which I quite like. That's Buzz Lightyear. Um, another one, that was from the Disney one. So from the DC one, I got Batman from Justice League. And the other one I got was The Flash. Um, the Flash from Justice League as well. And then I got my other half to buy me this one on Amazon. Um, the Hulk Buster. Which is quite cool. 
So the next thing I got was, I believe it was, it wasn't last week, it was the week before. And this was part of the, um, every Friday at certain times they do Fiverr Fridays. So they either do one or two pops at the moment uh, that is five pounds. And they either do it for 24 hours or if it's ran out, you know, like it's gone. Um, sold out. So I brought this for my other half because I asked her if she wanted it. I sent her a photo whilst I was at work. She said yeah, so I paid £5 for this, which I think is a bargain. I've never personally watched this film, but it is Disney A Wrinkle in Time. you got Mrs. Who, Mrs. Witch and Mrs. What's It. So again, it's a triple or three pack. That's the back, pretty cool, the very first triple pack as well, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, as well as the, um, the Disney, because they accidentally sent me out a Disney Fanatic pack instead of the Marvel Disney um the Marvel Fanatic pack that I asked for. Um, I did get in contact with them, um, but they they said, oh, you know, they never really got back to me in a way. So I've decided to keep it. But this is the Genie Five Star from Aladdin. So that's pretty cool. So I think we own three Five stars now. They're the other ones you can get. Jafar, Genie, Jasmine and Aladdin. So that's pretty cool. Um, this week's five star, uh, five, um, five of Friday. No, last week, sorry, because it's Friday tomorrow. Well, when this goes out anyway. Um, last week's five of Friday, I picked up two um i picked up both of them they might still be on there if you go on there they, they might still have them um but again i messaged the missus said oh do you want this she said yeah go on then um and it is the harry potter vinyl so you've got hagrid and you got harry potter again this was just five pounds so i thought that was a bargain and then there's a couple of shots from some of the films of them together. And then the other £5 one, um, I just thought I'd pick up, is Spongebob. Spongebob Squarepants with his little rainbow. So again, I will try and find the other two, which is Patrick Star and Squidward Tentacles. Collect them all. Well, that's what I plan on doing. So that is SpongeBob for a five pounds, which I thought was pretty decent. And that was on Pop Figures. So something that I've always wanted, um, and somebody on Facebook posted about it uh, with a link um, it cost me 24.99 plus I think 3.99 postage and it is the Boba Fett the 2020 spring convention limited edition exclusive with the shared um, sticker I believe it's a shared one um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I've, I've taken the wrapping off. And this is my very first hard stack. So I'm really happy with this one. Really happy. Um, next one I got was a seven pound American sports mystery pop that pop figures do. Again, a lot of these are from pop figures. So what I might do is, because I keep saying it, I might not bother saying 
it comes from pot figures. If it comes from anywhere else, then I will say, if I don't say, then obviously it will come from pot figures. Um, but again, this is a seven pound and it's NASCAR. Dell Einhardt Jr. This is the number four from NASCAR. I'm hoping that I'll get a Seattle Seahawks um, one. If I keep if I keep going for American ones, American sports ones, I'm hoping eventually I'll get a Seattle Seahawks. So that's that one. Uh, next one I got seven pound American mystery box pop is the New York Rangers hockey. Mats Zuccarello, I think. So this one's pretty cool. There's some of the other ones that you can get. Obviously, I have no idea who they are because obviously I don't follow hockey and I don't follow NASCAR. Uh, next one was the... Um, the pocket money one from Pop, Pop Figures it is Warrior Summer. My Rick and Morty collection seems to be growing. So uh, I own Prison Break Rick and now I own this one. That's Warrior Summer. Right, these two I got from the Zavi box. So I finally got to them. Uh, this one was from the Marvel one. Um, again, you can pick these up for $19.99 each or $24.99 if you buy two. And there is a Star Wars one, which obviously I didn't go for. But this one is the Luke Cage PX Previews Exclusive, number 189. So this is one of the probably original ones that they did many years ago. There's some of the other ones. Didn't even know there was a blade one, to be fair. So I'd love to get the blade one. And then the next one I got was from the DC one. And it's Carrie Kelly as Robin from Batman The Dark Knight Returns film. It was two parts. This one I wouldn't mind trying to get all of. The three different versions of Batman, Superman and the Joker. So quite happy I own that one. Uh, next one. This is from... In fact, no, I'll leave that one and that one. Right, this is a seven pound pop, mystery pop as well. Um, cartoons, I think. This is Hemorrhage 342 from Rick and Morty. So again, like I said, my Rick and Morty collection seems to be, seems to be growing. So all I need now on this one is Sentient R. Morty and the Face Hugger Rick, which I'd love to get. Because obviously it's... Alien. Who doesn't like Alien? Um, this one I can't remember if I've shown you. Uh, this one I actually did get from Pop in a Box. Not, not Pop in a Box. Um, Pop Figures. Um, but I already do own this one. That I traded or brought, I can't remember, from Facebook. But it's the Chrome version of Jack Jack. So I will be putting this up. If anyone's interested in this one. Whether you want to trade it or buy it off me, uh, just leave a comment and I will get in touch with you. But I'm trying to build up my Incredibles 2 collection as well. Um, only a few more. So I brought this one on Facebook. My missus is an absolute fan of not only this film, but of this person as well. Um, and obviously when he passed away several years ago, obviously she was gutted. 
And I believe, if the rumours are true, I believe they're actually going to be doing a second one. And it is Jareth from the Labyrinth. I think this one was about £18, and that's because it's got a bit of a... Can't see it, I don't... I, uh, yeah, it's got a bit of a mark there. But the bloke kindly put it in a pot protector for me. And there's some of the other ones you can get. But I had to get this one. I know when we first start, started dating, um, I found out she liked Labyrinth. But these were so expensive back then. I mean, they probably still are now, but I just had to get her at least this one. And what, four years on? Four years on, I finally managed to get it for her. So that's Jareth. Got six left. Again, this is from um, the anime mystery, seven pound. And it's Vegeta from Dragon Balls. I own quite a few of these. Not that I've actually gone out and brought them or they've just been part of a mystery box. I've never watched Dragon Ball Z. Um, don't plan on watching it. But they are pretty cool. Pretty cool looking pops. So why not keep them? Um... This one was part of the uh, pocket money pops that I brought from Pop Figures, and it's Shank from Wreck It Ralph, or Ralph Breaks the Internet, sorry. So this one's pretty cool. Number eight. I was going to say 80 then, because it does look like 80 to me, but obviously it's number eight. There's some of the other ones you can get. I don't own any of the other. Uh, wreck it Ralph Ralph breaks the internet ones but that's Shank uh, next one I got was part of the anime and this is my very first one from this one I'm not even going to attempt to say the last name um, but this is from My Hero Academia and is Momo I'm not even going to attempt to say that Obviously, it looks weird from your perspective. But there's some of the other ones you can get. Again, I've never seen this. But some of these pops do look pretty cool. So I will be keeping that one. Uh, this one was part of the JK Rowling mystery. And it is the snake... Nagini, 